Hello everyone and welcome back to Cop Supply. In this video, we're going to be overviewing Mech Prime. So let's move straight into today's video. We're going to begin with the Cop tab and make our way to the Task tab. I'm going to break down every single page. So let's begin at the Cop tab. I'm going to break down what's here. As you guys can see, there's a hashtag. There's the date, mode, profile, product, color, size, and action. And this is in association with the Cop items that you managed to successfully check out within Mech. So if you successfully check out something on the Task page and it goes through correctly within the bot then it will appear here the hashtag signifies the number so obviously one following on and then the date of the cup the emoji used to successfully check out the profile you used from the profile section the product that you actually managed to successfully check out then the color of the item then the size of the item and then there's actions available here then before we move on with the rest of the pages i want to break down this as you guys can see pokey is false ticket is true ready is true disassociation with the bot uh, ticket and Pucky is in association with Supreme's website and you have the two options here that are in association with your tasks that I'm just going to cover now if you activate this this activates restock mode for your tasks if you activate this this activates release mode for your tasks and with these you can go ahead and inject stuff so I can go ahead and inject the keyword high if I wish to it goes ahead and injects that the monitor part I can go ahead and inject the delay there I hit this it injects it and the same with the checkout delay moving to the settings page i'm going to break down everything here as you guys can see it says capture harvest account and this is essentially where you go ahead and activate a capture harvester so let's say if i wanted two capture harvesters i'd go to this drop down hit two hit the vault and this is for supreme initial so as you guys can see two harvesters come up i'm going to break down the harvesters in just a second i want to get through the settings page first so i'm going to go ahead and close out of this however if i want to go ahead and get capture harvesters for sign up supreme signups i hit this button and the exact same thing will happen two harvesters will go ahead and pop up i can go ahead and import from essential and a file directly will go ahead and pop up and you can import from essential you hit this button it switches to aycd auto solve and you can go ahead and put your aycd access token as well as your api key in here and hit save so your task when it asks for a capture it will use the aycd access token as well as the api key below that you have the discord webhook if you put your webhook in here you can go ahead and click add after that you can also test it it sends a test notification to the webhook to make sure everything is okay then you have this option here that filters through success and non-success so non-success actually looks like this so if you look at my channel here you go ahead and maximize that as you guys can see i went for this release and i didn't successfully check out so that means that this option was on this as you guys can see it's non-success only as well as success so i get everything so that's why i got the payment decline notification however if i were to hit this then the only thing is coming through for the webhook that you put here is success below that is your clear logs button you can go ahead and clear the logs for your tasks and below that you have the expiry date as you guys can see my expiry is 06 10 20 20 i can also hit the renew button it's 60 dollars every six months you hit this button and a strike box pops up you go ahead and fill out the details and you pay 60 dollars for six months and then it says reopen the bot after you renew go ahead and click out of the bot and close it down and then when you open it up your expiry date will be updated moving to the proxy section i'm going to go ahead and break this down if you have no proxies here like i do here i'm going to show you how to add them you hit the add proxy button at the bottom and then you can go ahead and configure your proxy group names i'm going to call this test uk resi and then my proxy count changes as i add proxies here so i'm going to go ahead and grab a proxy here I'm just going to copy out my numpad and then I go ahead and click the add proxy button. This pop a uh, box pops up. I put the proxy in there. I've got another blade out. When I click save proxy, it pops up here. And as you guys can see, the hashtag up here saying it's a zero. So it's the first one. Then it's host, port, username, password. That is the formation of the proxy. Then you have the status. As you guys can see, it's idling right now because I haven't tested it. And then the actions is to go ahead and delete it. So I can go ahead and test the proxy with this button. And as you guys can see, the status returns the result. I'm going to click test proxy two as well, and that result comes through as well. And I can go ahead and add proxy. And as you guys can see, the proxy is still there as well. And I can add to that list if I wish. Now I'm going to go ahead and break down the proxy page. You want to go ahead and hit the add proxy button, and we're going to go ahead and configure our proxy group name. I'm going to call it test UK Resi. And then the proxy count is one at the moment, but I'm going to go ahead and add a proxy, put the proxy in here. Let me go ahead and grab it from my notepad. Copy. It's better right now, but the proxy does work. I'm going to 
save proxy now a common thing that people actually do run into before you go ahead and save it you want to make sure you test it so i'm going to go ahead and text my proxy as you guys can see the speed is 700 milliseconds under the status tab but obviously under the action tab you can go ahead and delete it and then the host port using in password tab is obviously the proxy itself and the hashtag signifies that it is the zero proxy meaning the first proxy in the list now one thing that people do run into is as you guys can see mech prem is in full screen and the only options you have here is test proxy test proxy 2 and add proxy there's no real option to go ahead and save. If you hit add proxy, it takes you back to the list. As you guys can see, it's still blurred out. But essentially, on this screen, you can't use full screen mode. So I want to show you why. So I'm going to go ahead and click out of this. And as you guys can see, it's no longer full screen. And now you have the save proxy and clear all proxy options. So keep that in mind when you're configuring your proxies within MechPream. But if you want to clear all proxy, it deletes all the proxies within the list. If you want to save the proxy, it goes ahead and creates the ID. And then under the count section, it shows you how many proxies are within the list. With these two buttons under the action section, you can go ahead and edit it. And it shows you the proxy once again. You can go ahead and go through this entire thing if you want. And also under the action section, you can go ahead and delete a group if you wish. And moving over to the profile section, the sections that you can see is ID, profile name, email, phone number, and action. So keep that in mind when you're going ahead and creating your profiles, your email will show as well as your phone number. It's a good way to go ahead and distinguish your profiles as well as your profile name. So we're going to go ahead and break down the buttons down here and also the profile account and then go ahead and set up a profile. So obviously the profile count goes ahead and signifies how many profiles you have i have zero at the moment that's why that is zero then you have the add billing option i can go ahead and add a billing profile which is what i'm going to do in a second i have the remove all option which removes all the billings i have the import profile if you go ahead and hit this it opens up the file directly once again i can go ahead and export the profile so if i have profiles in the mech i want to use elsewhere if I go ahead and hit the button, I can go ahead and export the profiles as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the add billing option. This goes ahead and pops up. I'm going to go ahead and break down what is here. I'm going to call my profile name test, the name, the email, the billing address, the apartment number, the phone number, as well as the zip code, city, region, state, country, card type. Obviously, there's a few options here, as well as your card number, your more of your year, and your CVC. Ensure that you spend time on this to make sure it is correct, otherwise, you're not going to be successful when checking out. Keep in mind that when you go ahead and finish filling out your billing information, I've gone ahead and made a test profile here. I hit the add billing button. If you want to completely refresh, you can hit the clear billing button, and that will go ahead and clear this. So I'm going to go ahead and add the billing thing, and it goes ahead and adds the actual profile there. As you guys can see, the ID is there, the profile name is there the email is there and the phone number is there then we have a few options here we have the pen which goes ahead and edits it so it pops up again we have this button which goes ahead and duplicates it as you guys can see and then we have the trash bin button so i'm going to go ahead and show you that it works by deleting the duplicate and there you go it goes ahead and deletes that profile now for the task section part of this video i'm going to go ahead and pick out an item on the supreme website that i intend on botting and successfully checking out within the overview to show that everything works this is on the supreme website i'm going to go for the supreme hand crew socks so i'm going to go ahead and grab the link here i'm going to go for the black ones i'm going to go ahead and minimize that and go back to meg pro so breaking down the task page we have the task mode profile keywords size color proxy status and action in association with the task that i created with the add task button and at the bottom we have the add task button that goes ahead and pops up the task ui then we have the delete all button that deletes all your tasks that i created if you go ahead and activate this you can go ahead and configure the timer if you wish but i'm going to be manually starting my tasks so i'm going to go ahead and deactivate that then we have the stop all button that stops all your tasks and the start all button that starts all your tasks. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the add task button and the task creation UI is going to pop up. As you guys can see the task name, you can go ahead and configure it to anything you want. I've gone ahead and named it as socks. Then I can go ahead and select the profile. During that cut, I went ahead and loaded my actual profiles. But every time you go here with uh, all the options within Mech, you have the all profiles option. So if you create this task itself, it goes ahead and creates that task for every single profile. So if you have one profile, it's only going to create one. If you have two, it's going to get create two tasks. However, I have four. So in theory, it would create four tasks. But I'm going to go ahead and only use one task here. So, so I'm going to go ahead and use Halifax. And obviously, you have the keyword slash link. So keep in mind, when you put in keywords, it's in that format. So plus 
the word comma plus the word and if you want to use negative keywords you can do the minus there but we're going to go ahead and put in the link here because that's what i've copied in the previous cut then we have the proxy list we have log all host and test uk resi i'm going to go ahead and use that like i showed you in the proxy section then the category we all know that these socks are within the accessories category then we have the side section that you can go ahead and configure it as you please i'm going to put random because it has no size configuration on that link then the item quantity you can go ahead and change this if you wish then the mode at the moment at the recording of this video we have browser safe normal super api install sign up browser slash japan and install sign up to which is request based then you have your checkout delay i'm going to go ahead and put 400 for this and then you have the capture bypass retry on failure and start credit then once you're done creating your task you can go ahead and hit the create button and as you guys can see the task is created right there the task mode is browser safe the profile is halifax the keywords is the actual link the size is random the color is black the proxy is that proxy list and the status is idling because we have yet to do anything we have the start button the edit button which is the pen button so if i hit this this task ui goes and pops up we have this button with the cog button which shows the log clear log and you can also duplicate the task like i just did and then you have the trash bin button which i'm going to show you how it works now by deleting the duplicated task so in order to successfully use this task i need to have a capture harvester so i'm going to go back to settings and go ahead and load one up and this is the perfect time to go ahead and break down the capture harvester i'm going to go back to that section to do this so i'm going to pop up my capture harvester and break down everything in here so the reset button is to reset capture harvester the harvest button is to harvest a capture token as you guys can see the capture sold a status goes to one because i've solved them and also if i want to test my gmail i can hit this and it goes ahead and solves one as you guys can see it changed to two then you have the chrome icon which goes ahead and opens chrome exile that if you wish you can add a proxy here in that formation and then once you add the proxy you can hit the apply button to make sure it saves then you have the clear cookie button that you can clear the cookies associated with that gmail and also you have the gmail button to go ahead and log into your gmail however as you guys can see i am logged in so i'm good to go so as you guys can see i have my task here and i have my capture harvester open as well so i'm going to go ahead and run the task it checks the stock add the car delaying submit order submit order and give it a second processing and then as you guys can see the sign popped up and the status is check email because i've gone ahead and successfully checked out the item then i can go ahead and stop the task here and the status goes to stopped and i have successfully checked out that item with no issues at all and just to finish up the mech overview as you guys can see at the top it shows your task count it shows the current clock and date depending on your computer and also the maximum browser task number which is 15 at the moment so that concludes the overview for Mech Prime Art Crop Support.